Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts here. Uh, I'm going to explain how the accelerator pump circuit works on a Holley 94 2100 or 2110. All pretty much similar, same carburetor. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you how it works. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, let's put the pump in the pump wheel. And by the way, um, some 94s, a lot of them have a spring right here, a return spring that goes around it. This particular one does not do that. So if there's no spring on it, don't get shook up. All right, so there's down. And when you uh, let up on the accelerator pump, uh, excuse me, accelerator, the throttle, <laughs> you let up on the throttle, I'm sorry, I get with it here. And the pump will come up. And actually, the pump will help suck the fuel from the float bowl from this little hole right here. You can hopefully you can see that uh, into the bottom there's a check ball down there with a little retainer on it and the weight of the fuel and the suction of this coming up will pull gas through that passage and into the well here and fill it up and so then you got fuel full of fuel here I uh, push down on the accelerator and it will force it out through a, another hole at the bottom uh, I know it's going to be very hard to see but there's two holes down at the bottom one is uh, for the check ball for the intake and the other one's for the outtake okay so the pressure of the fuel going down uh, will force that check ball to close so that it doesn't force fuel back into the carburetor bowl and it takes goes through the passage the and through the discharge right here and you'll see a squirt come out of each one of these uh, and that's the uh, that's important you can see a nice strong squirt if you only see it coming out of one or a weak squirt then you probably have a plug system some of these passageways are very small uh, so when you're cleaning your carburetors pay special attention to it just soaking the carburetor doesn't always do it uh, you want to there we go so there you go so see how you can see how small that hole is right there and uh, what I do a lot of times is uh, spray carburetor cleaner spray through it and see if it sprays through and that that helps clean it also this particular one has a gasket and then uh, the bottom of the uh, main discharge here is a check weight with a pointed end and that's what uh, uh, that check weight will plug it off so that when you're not accelerating it doesn't suck gas into the uh, Venturi and that's something to check out by the way at idle or when you first turn off your engine uh, look down your carburetor and see if gas is dribbling out of these if it is then you have a leak chances are pretty good that it's that discharge needle uh, you can just take it and uh, uh, let's see this take a small drift punch or something and just excuse me uh, put it on top of it tap it gently and that'll help form a seal there so there's other possibilities for having it leak uh, pass there uh, which you'll find on our website I'm not going to discuss that right now uh, so anyway that's how the accelerator pump works so to test it uh, the first thing you want to do is put your pump in here uh, fill the bowl with uh, mineral spirits is what I like to use you can get some that had don't stink and uh, and then pull your pump up it may take a couple times just to make sure that fuel is going to go through that hole and fill up the well and then with the well full uh, simply uh, press down on the pump and see if the fuel comes out here now this is a test you do after uh, rebuilding your carburetor before you put it back on the car uh, so uh, if you got fuel coming out there then that parts working uh, the other thing you can do is uh, you want to test your check ball and uh, let's see I don't have anything small enough uh, to get down let's try this I got this. okay so with fuel in the in the well hold your check 
weight down and push down on your pump and you shouldn't have any fuel come out or at least very little past the check weight if it is then it's leaking that's another way to test okay on the bench so that's pretty much it on the accelerator pump when you're putting this together put a couple dabs of like this one has a white lithium grease on it that'll help you know fuel today has very little lubrication quality to it so uh, help it out by putting some uh, grease on there white lithium grease is, is a good way to go and that's how the accelerator pump works I hope this uh, video helped you out in uh, possibly diagnosing a accelerating problem hesitation bog which can also be caused by a distributor by the way distributor advance will cause the same thing so keep that in mind okay I thank you for watching my video